Put down the phone. Put down the phone. I went to Texas Highway Patrol. The reason for the stop tonight is driving on the improved shoulder. What took so long for you to pull over? So I was trying to figure out where I'm going. I'm getting direct okay. to the system was out. And okay. at the same time, I'm having lights on. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. Okay, can you go? Well, I mean, okay. Who takes priority? I do. Okay. When I activate my emergency lights, you pull over. Okay, you don't keep going for another three, four miles. Where? 
when I first activated my lights, you had half of a mile to stop. You had a good shoulder, then you had an exit you could take. Then you kept on going. There was another shoulder you could stop. There was a good portion. Let me see your driver license, your insurance. Where are you coming from tonight? Where are you coming from tonight, ma'am? Downtown Dallas. Okay, what are we doing in downtown Dallas? Out with my friends. How much alcohol have you consumed this evening? One drink. Just one? What was it? Vodka pineapple. Okay. Uh, what time did this drink? What time did you have this drink? Um, 11. So it was a good time to go. What have you been doing for the last two hours? Two and a half? Where did he move to? Um, Waxahachie. Okay, well, but where in Waxahachie? The address is, is not even the map. The problem is the map won't pull it up. So it's like, I think it's this exit. How long have your fiance lived here? Like three days. Oh, so it really is just. <laughs> yeah. Do you not know where your driver license is? It wasn't here. I gotta find it. When did you go to the grocery store? the entire time? Yeah, because I didn't have enough Eggs time and eat. chicken? Yeah, I didn't have enough time to get the groceries out. I had to go out. That's not safe to eat anymore. Yes, it is. I see your insurance. I got a phone. Just, just put, phone. okay. Just go ahead and step on out for me. Just sit, just sit your phone down. You can leave all that stuff there on the seat. Right. Take the hat off for me, set on the seat, please. Just step on back here. Just set the hat down. I don't, I don't want you to lose it. That's that's the only reason. No. Thank you. I also see there's a couple of containers of alcohol in the back seat. It looks like wine yes, and Yes, I'm vodka. bringing that from groceries to my house, to his house. But, so, when you got that this morning? We got that like 7 o'clock this evening. And then I went and met my friends downtown Dallas. And then he started trying to tell me the address. And when you, I saw your lights. Just wait over here for me where my light is. I'll be right back with you, okay, ma'am?
Green. Gonna be out conducting SFSTs in the Waxat G Ford parking lot. Gonna be just off southbound Interstate 35 near the 404. You can come and stand back up here for me. Alright, so I'm going to be conducting a couple tests uh, based on the driving behavior. Down to your side like this, down to your side. Maintain that position and do not move until I tell you to. Do you understand? Um, do you wear glasses or contacts? I do wear glasses. What do you wear glasses for? Um, my right eye is not, I can't see very well on my right eye. Okay. Well, what's wrong with it? I just can't see. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. Well, I was like, can, hey, you, can you see that blue light? I can. Okay. Can you reach up and touch that with your right index finger for me? Yes. Thank you. And can you do that same thing with your left? So when I what you need what I need you to do is you're gonna follow that blue light with your eyes and your eyes only. You're not gonna move your head, do you understand? Yes. And I'm gonna have this light up here all dim it so it's not super bright for you, okay? Uh, you need to keep your head facing towards me. Okay. You're gonna follow this just with your eyes. You're not okay. gonna move your head around. Okay. Just gonna follow it with your eyes. Do you understand? Yes. The light will stay blue. slowly so keep on following all right Wait right here. I'm gonna move my vehicle a little bit. We have a few more tests.
So, what you need to do, stand with your feet, heels, and toes together, arms down your side, facing towards this direction for me. All right. This one is called the walk and turn. Do you have any, uh, like, I saw you had high heels. Like, yeah. Do you have any, like, flat, maybe flat shoes or anything in, in the car? I do. do you, what do you want to put them on? Sure. Right, you can go ahead and do that. You might no, be better barefoot. Okay. You might be better barefoot. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I don't think I was just right. trying to help. Alright, so no, feet, heels, and toes together, arms turning side, facing towards this direction. I'm gonna stand over here. So this is called the walk and turn. What do you do? Is imagine a straight line extending from the left foot out in front of you towards the license plate on my car. Alright. Take your left foot, place it on that line. Then take your right foot, place it in front of your left foot on that line. Touching heel to toe, like so. Your arms down by your side. Oh, don't start yet. Oh. And take your right foot, put it in front of your left foot. Your right foot. Arms down by your side. Maintain that position. Do not move to a change. Okay. All right. When I tell you to begin, you're going to be taking nine heel to toe steps down that line. You're going to be turning in a manner of which I will show you shortly. Then you're going to be returning, taking nine more heel to toe steps down that line. It's going to look like this. One, two, three. On your ninth step, you're going to leave your front foot where it is. You're going to turn around, taking a series of small steps. It means multiple steps, okay? And you're going to, you're going to return, taking nine more heel to toe steps. Stand back how I had you. One, two, three. Okay, I took three steps both ways. You need to make sure you take nine. Go ahead and place your right foot in front of your left foot again. So when you're doing this, uh, remember nine heel to toe steps down that line. You're going to uh, turn around, taking a series of small steps. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps back. When you're doing this, you need to keep your arms down by your side. You need to count and step out loud. One, two, three. Make sure they're heel to toe steps. That means the heel of one foot touches the toe of the other foot. Okay, just like so. And you're not going to stop the test once you've started. Do you understand all these instructions? You can go ahead and begin. this way again. Stand with your feet, heels and toes together, arms down to your side. You're going to maintain that, maintain that position. Maintain. This one's called the one leg stand. What you're going to be doing is taking a leg of your choice. You're going to be lifting that foot approximately six inches off the ground and keeping it parallel to the ground. Parallel is flat, as flat as you can make it above the ground. Right? Um, when you're doing this, you need to have your arms down by your side. You need to look down at the foot you have raised. And you're not going to put your foot down once you started the test. Okay. I'll, I'll go ahead and demonstrate it for you. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, and so on and so on until I tell you to stop. You're going to keep on counting up until I tell you to stop. Oh, okay. okay. Um, do you understand all these instructions? of your choice approximately six inches off the ground parallel to the ground. Okay. You're going to look down at that foot, count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, keep on counting up. Okay. Keep your arms down by your side, okay. your legs as straight as you can, you're not going to put your foot down or anything else. Just start the test. Okay. Um, you can go ahead and begin. Look down at your foot.
2022. Well, you can go ahead and stop. You can put your foot down. I'll be right back, okay? Alright ma'am, you're being placed under arrest for driving while intoxicated. I need you to face towards, keep facing towards my car. Form the opinion if you've lost a normal use of your mental forces or bad qualities due to the introduction of alcohol into your system. Sitting in the front passenger side of my patrol car, okay? Just wait right back here. Let's make sure I sit this in. Just wait, wait. Alright, you can go ahead and sit up here. I'm gonna reach around and buckle you in. I'm going to be 95 one time with the subject on my tree, 1055. Can you go ahead and get me the next rotation record out of the Waxahachie zone? Again, I'm going to be in the Waxahachie Ford parking lot off Thornhill Drive, just off of southbound Interstate 35 Service Road. Have you ever been arrested before, ma'am? No. We're going to read you something now. Um, these are your warnings. Um, now that you're subject in custody, they're what's known as the Miranda warnings. Before you are asked any questions, it is my duty to advise you of your rights and to warn you of the consequences of waiving these rights. 1. You have the right to remain silent and not make any statement at all, and any statement you make may be used against you at your trial. 2. Any oral or written statement you make may be used as evidence against you in court. 3. You have the right to have a lawyer present to advise you before and during any questioning by peace officers or attorneys representing the state. Four. If you're too poor to hire a lawyer, you have the right to have a lawyer appointed by the court to advise you before and during any questioning. Fine. You have the right to terminate. Do you understand all your rights? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to go inventory your vehicle. Uh, uh, I already called for a tow truck to come and pick it up, okay? I think I call my and father. Where do they live? Um, my mother's in Arlington. My father is in downtown Dallas. Um, he's a judge for... They're, no. they're, they are a little too far away. Um, or can I let my fiance know he's come out? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you call him and let him know. He what's was happening. on the phone, so, so, so it may never, not have right. but I just want to let him know right. where I'm at. Plus, I have two, two um, sons that. Where are your sons at? Um, my nine year old is his father, and my other son is at home. I live in Grapevine. Okay, how old's your other son? 17. Okay, how so he's fine by himself? Yeah, he's fine. Right. And my nine year old. I just wanted to make sure. Um, oh yeah, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you make I some. Do, that was wild. Drive while intoxicated. I'm not, I'm not drunk. Okay. 
Um, did I not do something? They're, they're, based on my observations, both of your driving, uh, your and behavior, I and of the of field sobriety test. Um, like I, was to like I told you over. before, uh, I formed the opinion you're driving while intoxicated. Alright, I'm gonna go inventory your vehicle, and I'll be right back. Can you call me the name nowhere? Yeah, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you call him. I'll let you call him in a, in a little while, alright? There, she's actually drinking while she was driving.
Where's your cell phone? It was um, in the driver's seat. Oh, in the driver's seat. Okay. It was there right there. Right. What does it look like? This is your phone, right? Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay, do you need your whole purse? Yeah, um, that way I can have him get it. Um, I'll, I'll grab it. I'll, I'll grab what I can. Your purse might be too large. They don't have a lot of room to or store your stuff wallet. in the jail. Okay, I'll grab your wallet. That's probably my... Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, she said she wanted to call you and talk to you anyway. She's she's under arrest um, for an intoxication offense. Um, I'll let her get out and speak to you for a minute. Uh, just go ahead and pull up there in front of her car, okay? All right. Um, I told him he could talk to you, so after he parks, I'm going to walk back and I'll talk to you. Okay. Okay. Are you a Wesley Hatsy officer? I'm a state trooper. You can, you can step on out of. Oh, you have a little, have a little cat here. I can't get in the back. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and walk her up here to talk to you. Okay. All right. out of the vehicle, can okay. we just give it to him? Yeah. Okay. Where are you? You know where you're going to take me? Yes. Ellis County Jail in Walk Statue. And then what does he need to do so he can get there? Um, we'll just have to wait till tomorrow. I'll, 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 I'll split, or well, later today. I'll, I'll explain it to him. Okay. Wait, you just told her to explain. I asked you, though. I'm, I'm asking. I, we're not here to talk 
about what has happened, okay? She said she wanted to speak to you a few minutes before we left. We're not here to talk about this. We can talk about anything else you want. So what's but the, the, how do I get her out? So she's going to be going to Ellis County Jail. She walks in. She, she has to see a judge. And then she can get away. And once, once she sees him, uh, on, he said she's going to be on tonight. Uh, it'll be whenever the judge comes in. Is he coming in tonight? Uh, normally they come in. Out that vehicle, she can release the So, what would you like? Just your purse. Your purse. Uh, if what? So, he can't take my car? No, he doesn't have anyone to drive. It's just him. But if they don't need to take it, I can use the ladder. I can just go up to the house and say, I'm going to drive the car before you got out here. Let's go ahead and walk back. You can get whatever I can out of the car, that's what you said? Yeah, you can get whatever you, whatever, no. whatever, whatever. Can you whatever. take my license too? Nah, that's, you don't get that to you in jail. Can I get just, just, just wait for a minute, okay? Just, I'll, I'll, I'll walk back, right back up with you. Just walk back to my car. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him your purse. Just, no, just, just walk, walk back to my car. Mm -hmm. out of my purse, my cards. Um, he's gonna have to go and get my son's. Okay. So I, but I know you see my purse is big, but if I could get my, if I could have my purse on me. On, on your person? Um, like check it in or I know they're not gonna get your, your entire purse? We, we can't take your entire purse. Do you want me to grab your wallet from inside your purse? Can't, I just need to be able to contact my dad, contact my mom, and those okay. numbers in my purse. The numbers aren't in your phone? Some of them. My, oh. I, some of them are. But I was going to give him, I know you got to keep my license, but I was going to give him my, uh, like my cards, my keys. Okay. The keys are going to go with the record driver. So, they have to tow my car? Yes. All right. I'm just going to give him your let purse. Him take it? I'm going to give him your purse and bring you your wallet. Okay. Another wallet. Another wallet. What does it look like? Another What's it look like? Um, it has LVs on it. It's brown. It's trimmed in red. How big is it? Um, it's about the same size as that one. I'll go grab that. That's the last thing, though. Nothing I, even in it. No, there is a card. Um, okay, I'll just yeah. put that one card. I will, in this no, one. I'm gonna give it to him. Okay, I'll give it to him. But Any, what all do you want me to release to him? Um, that card right there. Okay, what else? And um, you said you can't give him a license, right? No. You'll be able to pick that up when you get out of the jail. Uh, okay, so th then just. Um, just the card. She just 
just asked me to give you her car. And that was it, okay. So I said, so this one, she wanted me to give you under you. Um, so like I said, she's going to be going to the Ellis County Jail. It's right, just right down the road, it's a mock statue. Uh, she has to see the judge and get arraigned. And once that happens, should be able to be released. It'll be all be all. It should all happen today. Um, Are you about to drive it now? I'm just waiting for the record to come pick up the vehicle that we've been driving over there. Uh, uh, is there anything else you need for me? So she couldn't tell me. You can't tell me. She can tell. She can tell you. She can tell you once she gets out of jail. All right. I, I wasn't. I just wasn't going to stand here. Wow. Her and you start chewing you. That's why I asked you. I'm asking that's, what, that's what was happening. No, that's not. I'm trying to be respectful. I'm asking you now. That's all I'm doing. Uh, like, it's, not, it's not my place to tell you. That's, I asked that's, you. I wanted you to tell me that. I, I, again. I know how again, she is. That's why I asked again. you. Again. It's not my place to say. This is something that happened to her. It's not my place to tell you. Uh, she can tell you if she wishes to. Uh, you're free to go. Uh, you don't have to wait here any longer. I'm just waiting on a regular way. I'm, uh, you're not going to follow me. She is going to jail. Again, you're not going to be following me over there. Right. She is going to jail. Everything's being recorded to on more than one camera. So nothing, nothing's scheduled to happen. You're free to go. I'll let her know. Okay. He, he asked you to call as okay. soon as you were able to. Email me the 27, 28, and 43 for my tree, please.
Go ahead. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. We're getting calls now of gunshots from that party. Nobody knows who it is that has the gun. Yeah, ten four. Those are the ones we just heard. Four and route. Where the? Do you have numbers on Almond? It's six sixteen one six. One of the callers said that it's somebody by the tree. That's all they can say. Ten four. So you got a call from the actual party itself, from the farm goer. Ten four from two different people at the party. One sixteen, let's uh shut down on the road on both sides for right now. Um one nineteen if you come from Solar eight thirteen that way and we're gonna be on the uh on the Paul Meyer side and let's just go ahead and close it off until we figure out what we got here. There's quite a few cars leaving already. on the roof. Oh.
going to be reading you something now. I'm required to read this. Uh, this is a copy for you to follow along with. The light should be decent enough over there for you to read it as well. Can you see that? This is, your stat this is Texas statutory warning. The form number is a DIC 24. Some I'll, I'll let you know that some of this won't apply to you, but I have to read the entire form. Okay. Also, just bear with me. You are under arrest for an offense arising out of acts alleged to have been committed while you are operating a motor vehicle in a public place or a watercraft while intoxicated, or an offense under Section 106.041 Alcoholic Beverage Code. You will be asked to give a specimen of your breath and or blood. The specimen will be analyzed to Sorry, determine the alcohol concentration or the presence of a controlled substance, drug, dangerous drug, or other substance in your body. If you refuse to give the specimen, that refusal may be admissible in a subsequent prosecution. Your license, permit, or privilege to operate a motor vehicle will be suspended or denied for not less than 180 days whether or not you are subsequently, subsequently prosecuted for this offense. If you refuse to submit to the taking of a specimen, the officer may apply for a warrant authorizing a specimen to be taken from you. If you are 21 years of age or older and submit to the taking of a specimen and an analysis of the specimen shows that you have an alcohol concentration of 0.08 or more, your license, permit, or privilege to operate a motor vehicle will be suspended or denied for not less than 90 days whether or not you are subsequently prosecuted for this offense. If you are younger than 21 years of age and have any detectable amount of alcohol in your system, your license, permit, or privilege to operate a motor vehicle will be suspended or denied for not less than 60 days. However, if you submit to the taking of a specimen and an analysis of the specimen shows that you have an alcohol concentration of less than 0.08, you may be subject to criminal penalties less severe than those provided for under Chapter 49 of Penal Code. If you are operating a motor vehicle and you refuse to give the specimen or provide a specimen that shows you have an alcohol concentration of 0.08 or more, you may be disqualified from driving a commercial motor vehicle for a period of not less than one year. You may request a hearing on the suspension or denial. This request must be received by the Texas Department of Public Safety as headquarters in Austin, Texas, no later than 15 days after you receive or are presumed to have received notice of suspension or denial. The request can be made by written demand, fax, or other form prescribed by the department. I certify that I have informed you both orally and in writing of the consequences of refusing to submit to the taking of a specimen or providing a specimen. I have provided you with a complete and true copy of the statutory warning. Ma'am, I'm now going to be requesting a specimen of your breath. Will you submit to the taking of a breath specimen? Yes. Okay. That will that'll happen at the jail here shortly. Um, now that he has your vehicle loaded, we're going to just go ahead and head on. Okay. Okay. Grab that so it doesn't fall on you. Sorry. Was actually shot, so we're still trying to sort this out. Uh, 119, go ahead and step it up. We're gonna have to go up in this residence here in a minute and see what we got. 1123, Waco. Damn. 1123, go ahead. I'm gonna be en route to the Ellis County Jail. Starting mileage when ready. Nine five nine seven three. Again, that's nine five nine seven three. Eleven twenty three. Zero two twenty five hours. Eleven twenty three county. Eleven twenty three. Going to be 95 right to take the ramp to US 287 South Corsicana. Going to be 95 one time en route to your location.
It will be 95973. Merge onto McNaughton Street, then use the left lane to take the US 287 south ramp. I'll be at the IH 35 and US 287 intersection. Sorry about that, there was something stuck on my window. Use the left lane to take the US 287 south ramp. Oh, we gotta turn that off. Just so I leave the uh, I leave the gathering there. I know where it went from there. Let's close that driveway up there. Take the next right onto Center Street, then turn right yeah, onto Dunn Street. Yeah. Take the second left onto Barger Drive. One I mean, is clear. Take the next right onto West Criddle Street, then turn right onto Dunn Street. Take the next left onto East Ross Street, then turn left onto Bow Street. One, Take the next one, right onto West Second Street, then turn yeah, left onto Just hold Street. that. It's a possible witness. They've been released. Take the next left onto East 
Parks Avenue, then turn left onto North Jackson Street. Take the next left onto Oldham Avenue, then turn left onto North Jackson Street. Southeast on East Main Street, Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard toward South Jackson Street, then turn left onto North Jackson Street. 1123, Whiteout. I'll be out at the Ellis County Jail. Indian mileage when ready. PS1 unit going in. 1123 County. I'll be out at your location. Ending mileage when ready. Nine five nine seven eight. Alright, I'm gonna unbuck you right now. I'm gonna walk around and help you out of the
box to go ahead and walk this way. GPS signal lost. We're going to go into that door over there on the opposite side up those stairs. DPS going into the intox room. Step on through. There's going to be a blue door on your right. We're going to be going in this door. Step on in. You can have a seat on one of those chairs. Is there a way to turn that this off so it doesn't drain all the battery from that? There's a way to turn it on. Just so just that um, GPS is going to drain all this battery immediately. So there's no service in here. Is that it turning off or does that mean it's still on? Turn off. Yeah, it, it's a, it's a pan for everything. So it's not gonna... What is it? Zero six. I'm going to stand up, I'll go ahead and take those cups off for now. I clasp your hands. That should be a lot better. So why do you have your last name hyphenated? Just out of curiosity. Why is my last name hyphenated? Hmm? It's my married last name. Oh, okay.
bit of shitty melody you were trying to play. Uh, yeah. Oh, Stand up here. This is that form I read to you earlier.
just addressing great points. Still a good address for you. 1910 Stunway Drive. Oh. Okay, what's a better address? 1636. Okay. Chateau Circle. How do you spell that? C H O T E A U Circle. Straight by Texas. 
It won't take but a couple minutes. DPS out to the salad board. GPS into the intox lies room. I'm going to try this one more time. Um, I'm going to go out there, come back in, see if I can get that in for this information to work. It's not working. If not, we're going to have to do something else, okay? I'll right back. into the intox room. Let's 
see if this other one works. You can just you stay seated there. We're going to have to wait a while. Take this off again. So I'll, you, I'll explain these documents to you while we're waiting. Um, this is the uh, uh, instanter. That's the arrest ticket for the offense. Throw your information up top up here. Um, this is the offense that you're being arrested for. This was the warning for the stop. Okay. Uh, there's other information at the bottom you can read if you would like. Uh, that's, this is going to go on your property. Here the jail. Also, and this one. And it's signed as well. Uh, this is a vehicle inventory form, a tow slip. Okay. This is your information. This is your vehicle's information. Where, who towed it, where it was, and this is the information of the person. This is the signature information of the person who picked it up. Okay. I'll mark where the vehicle is actually going for you. So you can contact them or you can provide your fiance with the information from it, okay?
Why don't you feel okay and move down to Waxhatchee? I bought a house out here. You bought a house? Okay. So, why Waxhatchee? Why not somewhere else? Because cost of living was cheaper. Yeah. And that's where can't. we were. I mean, were, you, were you guys up in Grapevine? Or? I mean, I was in Grapevine. He's in Dallas. He was, he was in Dallas. He's in Dallas. Yeah. He bought a house uh, out here and I'm supposed to move. My lease isn't up yet. So. My lease is up in the next three months, then I was going to Oh, that's good. Back. That's good. You taking the kids with you, or do they have to stay mm -hmm. with their dad up in Dallas? No, I'm going to take my okay. seven. I'm going to take their dad over. Good. Yeah. I don't know why you want to buy a house from Oaks Hatcher right now. It's getting more and more I and more. Like that, I, yeah. For this specific <laughs> reason, I told him, I'm like, you know. I mean, I guess it is better than Dallas. Cheap cost of living wise. Cost of living is less, but uh, it's, just getting, I just, it's just getting more and more and more and more. It's going up thousands of dollars a year I just in like house value. I'd rather have stayed out where I would have stayed out around it. Did he own a house up in Dallas too, or is he just no, living in the apartment? No, he had an apartment, and uh, I have a condo that I've had um, when I met him. So he wanted to get a house. Do you work up in Dallas? Um, I'm a data architect for Dallas Cowboys. Oh, okay. I do. And I used to cheer for them. So I'm a, I yeah, finished my master's in IT, so I'm an architect for them. And, okay. Um, so I work like maybe 15 minutes from my house. Well, that's not bad at all. Uh, what, is it, what does a data architect do? Um, basically, you blueprint whatever systems are needed to support whatever the business is. Okay. So depending on like if you were to come in and say, oh, our business needs this system, this system, mm -hmm. this system, um, I develop it. Oh, that's really good. We do the blueprint for it. And then we have programmers come in and create the module, create the systems. Uh, when did you finish your master's? You said you just finished it. Oh, I finished it a year ago. A year ago. Yeah. 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 Is it UT? Um, SMU. SMU. UT oh, okay. is my, my, my UT. I did my undergrad there. Yeah. Okay. Two very good schools. Yeah. Where does your son want to go to college? Oh or does he, he want no to? Clue. He doesn't want to. He's still trying to find himself. He's a musician. He doesn't. Oh, there's nothing himself. wrong with that. Yeah. Right? He's a musician, so he's still trying to figure out what he wants to do. Is he a junior? Or a senior? He just graduated. Oh, he just graduated from high school. Oh, so he graduated early. He graduated this year. Good for him. Uh, he graduated last week. Good for him. And he, uh, Take one time. He's probably gonna take two years to do his associates for two years. Yeah. And just stay give, at home. You gotta give him some time to figure out what he wants to do. Yeah. He's gonna go. If he does move down here, maybe he can always go to Navarro or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. A lot cheaper that way too. Oh yeah. Definitely. You said your other son is. No, he's nine. Nine. He's yes. nine. Well, I'm sure. Boys, I'm like, that's it. That's a, that's a little bit of a spread between them, too. Ten and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. Ten and a half years. So do they wait whenever I have to, what normally um, happens as far as when I have to go see the judge and okay, so when I get called to tell them to try and that can get me? As, as, soon as, we're, as soon as we're done in here and I go and I complete the other paper I have to do in the, in the jail, um, you'll have to wait in the jail for, let's see what time is it, it's a little after three. Judges normally get here around maybe eight or nine. It is a Sunday, so they'll probably get here earlier. Okay. Uh, 
So they have to wait for a few hours. And you'll see the judge, and he'll set up. He'll do what's called an arraignment, mm -hmm. and that's where he just tells you the charges and uh -huh. your rights, and he sets a bond. Um, once he sets that bond, uh, you can bond out, and then uh, so later today your fiance could come and pick you up. It depends on time, depends on how many people are are getting out, because uh, you, know, you have to wait. But uh, you'll be able if if you do bond out, you'll be able to get out today. No problem. What's the, um, how do they determine the bond? Uh, the judges kind of have a system, a set system they go by. Mm -hmm. uh, it varies from charge to charge. Mm -hmm. okay. It also depends on the judge that comes in. Some of them do higher, some of them do lower, some of them stay right about the same as everyone else. It's just up to them. They're, they're, they're always very reasonable and fair about it. Since we are a smaller area than, let's say, Dallas County, um, they have they have their own judge up at the jail all oh. the time. So as soon as you, as soon as someone Here goes up, has their own no, judge. Dallas oh. does. Oh. So like big big areas like Dallas and Houston, San Antonio, oh. Austin, you know they uh, you go into the jail, you see the judge, and you can get out just a few hours later. But because we're smaller, uh, they just come once a day every day. Oh. Luckily, it's not too far from They now. come like once in the morning they do mm -hmm. all of them. They do, they do all of them for, the, for everyone who's arrested, which sometimes can be a lot of people. Right. Uh, and uh, so luckily it's it's just a few hours before they're going to come. Because, uh, How do you know when to call someone to tell them to, that, that you see uh, you, they'll, they'll let you use the phone. They wait to after you. Yeah, they'll let you use the phone here. Uh, you can, as soon as we're done, uh, you can call your fiance and, and tell them you're here and tell them, that, tell them what's going on uh, and explain all that to them. I explained it to them out there, too. I uh, told them what to expect. Uh, and then where do they, you, like, you just go and find out wherever they took your phone, like where they took my phone? Yeah, all, all, the, all that information I showed you. Uh, you you can you can go get your car. Your fiance can go get your car. Or he can take you over there when he picks you up. I mean, whatever works. It'd probably be a good idea to call him before you go over there, just to make sure they're actually there and they can expect you. But they're somewhere around here. Yeah, they're oh. they're. Uh, I believe the yard they took it to is in Midlothian, so Midlothian. ten minutes away maybe. It's not far. Come up.
going to do, um, I tell you to, you're going to grab this and you're going to blow through that tip, a uh, long steady stream of air, okay? Um, don't just try and blow it all at once, just long and steady. Just take a deep breath before you do it. Try to get as much of it as you can. Otherwise, it'll just keep on giving it. Too much yeah, try, try again. Steady. Right, take another breath. Let's try this again. You're not, you're not, you're not breathing in good enough. All right, whenever you're ready. The old ones you should take twice as much breath too. Oh, okay. So imagine that one being hard. <laughs> oh man. That was difficult. Should almost be ready. If you want to walk back over here. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. One more time. Just one last time. You have to do twice. Please blow long and steady.
consumed any other substances? No. Nothing else. Okay. All right. So your breath came back just under the legal limit. All right. It is almost two hours after the stop. Uh, so that does show that you were, your, uh, alcohol con your alcohol concentration was well above the legal limit while you were operating your motor vehicle. Because the stop occurred at 1.30, and it is 3.20 right now, so that's almost two hours for it to dissipate out of your system. Mm So we're done in here. Um, so we lock this back up.